uh, or updates earlier this year, we were in the, the height of the pandemic and we wanted to keep our residents informed and educated about COVID-19. You know, we, we can't stress enough the importance of continuing to practice social distancing, wearing a mask, not letting your guard down. We understand the toll that this is this pandemic is is taking on our residents and our businesses, and we want to stay safe and 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 really be proactive as we start to move through this second wave. It's so important for us to protect our community and our businesses, and we really really care about their well-being. On that note, um, it is my pleasure to introduce and pass it over to your mayor, Mayor George Bridge. Thanks, Derek, and uh, thanks for that introduction. And yes, I, I agree with Derek. We wanna make sure that uh, we keep you updated as best we can uh, going forward. We're in a tough time coming up, but I think we can get through it. So I just wanna give you a little bit of a public health update. Uh, we're still in orange restricted level, very close to going into red. So we have some concerns there. But effective Monday, November 16th, we were moved into the orange as restricted. And uh, there was a little concern about going into the red and maybe I'll get into those numbers in a minute. Um, the last time we actually talked about uh, uh, getting numbers uh, for our own area, that was a concern our last call. And I'm happy to say that we are now able to get numbers broken down into Minto. Uh, by public health and it'll be going on their dashboard um, as of December 1st but before that time we'll be getting the numbers on a weekly basis um, and then putting it on our our website for you uh, but just to give you a little bit of an update uh, the number of uh, cases from uh, active cases are now at sitting at six for the town of Minto and there have been a total of 20 cases including our current active cases within the town of Minto since the beginning of the Pandemic, So that gives you a bit of an idea. We're seeing a, an increase. And I know a lot of people talked about, well, are these cases in the south of the problem? Uh, so, and when, you, when I say there's only six active cases in Minto, that doesn't mean Wellington North's numbers, will, which will, they'll be out, I'm sure, and Mapleton. So when you look at Wellington North, that was what you have to look at, because that's your surrounding area. So there's probably more than the six active cases in our surrounding area. Um, so public health is still talking about making sure that we uh, we do not attend social gatherings held at other people's households. I think that's been the big one. And you're hearing a lot on the news that that seems to be what's been driving some of this. And we got a little lax in that area, like sleepovers and going to somebody's uh, place for dinner or birthday parties. We have to kind of cut back if we want to stay uh, in, in our, at least in the orange and hopefully not move back, maybe even to a better zone. Um, so convert, you know, so be careful about any discretionary social visits or gatherings uh, and make them into more of a formal format. Don't visit indoors in other people's homes. Keep physical distances outdoor visits uh, if such visits are essential. And if you're letting other people into your home, consider whether they're being there is truly essential. If you're needing for emergency personnel, uh, fire or police, uh, make sure that they're wearing masks, you're wearing masks. Essential household support, such as home care providers, service providers for things like household renovations, construction repairs, or housekeeping. One-to-one -one -one teaching or instruction tutoring. If service providers are in your home, keep them apart in a different room, wear a mask, et cetera, as much as possible. So anytime you get in a situation where you're gonna be close to somebody um, in your home, in an indoor space, try to both of you wear masks. And I know sometimes we get to that point, we think, oh, you know what? I know these people, whatever. They don't know if they have it or not. But remember, people without symptoms can have it. So you're inviting somebody into your home that might be bringing it with you. So I just wanna make sure you realize that and, and make sure that you keep that going. Because if we do that, we can try to keep from getting into some situations where we have to shut more stuff down. And I don't want to do that. And I'm sure I know public health doesn't want it. Dr. Mercer doesn't want to. So that's what I would tell you at this point in time. And I'll turn it back over to uh, um, Derek and you'll talk a little bit more about uh, cases rising in mental. Great, thank you, Mayor Bridge. So I think we all know that COVID-19 cases are on the rise in mental. Um, our health professionals are our concern and we need to do our part to slow the spread. So, you know, I can't stress enough, wear a mask or a face covering. You know, 
when gathering outside or, or even if you're um, in a social setting, wear a mask. Um, maintain your, your physical distancing, wash your hands often. Um, you know, as the mayor just said, limit close contact to really only those people that you live with. Um, you know, we're, we're, we've, we've got to pay attention and keep COVID-19 out of our long-term care homes and our retirement homes. You know, we want to keep our businesses open and, you know, we want to keep our, our kids in school. And we really got to buckle down and, and this all depends on our actions and, and we can do this together. Um, but, you know, for more information, I encourage you to visit, um, you know, the uh, Wellington Dufferin Guelph Public Health and you can reach them at, at their website at wdgpublichealth.ca. Um, again, we talked about assessment centers. We have rural Wellington COVID-19 assessment centers. One's located in Harriston, the other one's in Fergus. Um, they are staffed by the Mount Forest uh, Family Health Team and, of course, the Wellington Healthcare Alliance. Um, I don't have to remind you, but the mental location is at the Harriston Railway Station at 83 Arthur Street West. And it is open on Tuesdays and Thursdays from, from 9 to 5. And, of course, you can book an appointment uh, by calling 519-843-8160. Six zero, or you can book it online as well at whcacovid.com. Um, we did get uh, we did get some we did get a question. So let me read the question. The question was: With all the small businesses struggling with staying open, wearing masks, and etc., why is it that the town office is closed and not everyone in Minto has access to a computer? Um, why can't staff be there? So let me provide you with some clarity. Although um, the administration office is closed, staff are still in there working. The reason it's closed to the public is we have a very, very small front entrance vestibule where it'd be very difficult to have social distancing and interaction in that really small space. So we did close the front doors, but we have staff that are working every day there, because the building is large inside past the front doors, we're able to social distance our staff appropriately. And those staff that are able to do their jobs from home are doing that. Um, there are many ways that you can interact with us other than a computer. Uh, you can call in, you can drop, um, drop things off in our Dropbox. Um, so there are other interactions other than computers to, to do business with our residents. So if you have any questions whatsoever, I encourage you to call in, we're answering the phones, um, but the reason that we closed the front was exactly that, that we have a very, very small area to, to service people there, and we just can't practice social distancing appropriately. Uh, so that's, that's why um, uh, the office is closed, but I assure you that there are people in there working away um, and we're, we're moving ahead. So on that note, um, I'm now gonna turn it over to Jess, who's gonna talk a little bit about uh, mental health. Thanks, Derek. Hello, everybody. As Derek said, I'm Jess. And for those of you who don't know, I'm the coordinator for Minto Mental Health. And I wanna chat with everyone about your mental health and wellness during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, COVID-19 has presented very stressful events and navigating through this has been difficult for us all. So I wanted to check in with everyone and make sure that we're doing what we can to keep our wellness in check and our mental health good. Um, recognizing that there is some needs that we might need to reach out to and I wanna provide some supports and resources for you. Um, fear and anxiety about COVID-19 is present and prevalent. And what could happen is there. So we want to make sure that we're, we're practicing our self-care and taking care of ourselves the best we can in the current situation we are. So as we navigate through the changes to our daily lives, our daily routines, it's so important to take care of yourselves. I know this is a time where we're trying to take care of other people too, but remember you can't take care of someone else if you're not taking care of yourselves. Um, so make sure we're doing that. Um, self-care strategies are so good for you and 
for overall wellness, physically, um, physical health, mental health, spiritual health, all pillars of wellness. Um, it's so good to practice self-care um, and especially helping you cope with the current situation that we're in. So a couple tips I wanna share with you is to take care of your body, um, get enough sleep, stick to that typical routine. I know it's hard, especially if we're working from home and I just want to crawl out of bed at 7.30. I start at 7.45, but keep that routine going because that's good for your mental health and to alleviate that anxiety you may be feeling. Um, take part in regular physical activity. I know um, gyms are look different right now and I know there's um, uncertainty of what that'll look like, but we can get physical activity at the comfort of our own home and outside as well. We have beautiful spots to go in Minto to get that physical activity or on our trails um, while still physically distancing ourselves from those members who are not a part of our social circles um, and our families. So exercise helps with that anxiety and it helps to alleviate that as well. So get outside while you can. Um, and even in the winter, bundle up, um, maybe purchase some snowshoes from our local businesses if they can get some or, uh, or doing different strategies to help you while outside. There's so many good things that we can do outside safely. So get that activity. It'll help you out um, physically and mentally. Eat healthy, so choose that well-balanced diet. I know we talk about this all the time and our mental or our family health teams have great resources on eating healthy as well um, to keep that health um, going. If you eat healthy, it helps with your physical and mental health as well. Limit that caffeine intake. I know sometimes we wanna increase that when things get tough, but limit that because that can aggravate your stress and anxiety. Um, relax and recharge. Um, take those time aside. If, uh, if you have kids at home and they're sleeping, take that time for you to maybe journal or maybe watch your favorite show. Just relax and recharge. We need to take that time to do that. Um, next, we're going to talk about taking care of your mind. So set your priorities. Don't become overwhelmed with creating life-changing lists. If you're working from home and you have some time at home now, things have changed. Don't set unrealistic goals for yourselves because that is hard on your mental health. Make things that you can achieve and that um, you can work towards that are SMART goals. So they're specific, they're attainable, um, they're measurable, those kind of things, because um, reaching goals is great for your, um, your self-confidence and uh, just for your overall wellness as well. As I said before, keep that regular routine, exercise, keep that in your routine, Me eating your meals at the right time, keep those as well. And Last but not least, keep sure or make sure you're connecting with others during this time. We are so fortunate to be where we are with technology that you can connect in different ways. I know it's not the same as hugging those loved ones, but right now that's not safe for us, right? Uh, at, given our current circumstance. So use uh, forms like Facebook and Zoom and FaceTime to have that semi in person conversation with someone and uh, or email or text a friend or send a letter if you can those things just to lift your spirits and to keep connected. Um, it'll help with that feeling of isolation for not just yourself, but others as well who may be feeling the same. Uh, I'm going to quick now provide you with a few resources I have. We have lots more on mentalmentalhealth.ca, but some I want to highlight right now, given the current circumstances is um, some of the ones that I are at the top of our mental mental health. And I want to make sure you know that there is no shame in reaching out. Um, we all need to reach out for help at some point in time. Uh, one in five before the mental health or before the COVID-19 pandemic experienced mental health issues. And I know that's increasing only more and more as we work through this. So reach out um, and and get the help you need. We have great resources. Here 24 seven is available 24 um, seven, 365 days a year. Um, they are a phone call away and you can reach them because of the overwhelming numbers they've gotten. They've asked that you call them uh, through their local number, which is 519-821-3582. And they will help navigate you through um, some resources that are available within your community. Um, I also want to highlight the Family Counseling and Support Services for Guelph and Wellington Mental Health Clinics. Um, there is four different clinics. However, due to COVID-19 concerns, not all locations are offering 
in-person se sessions. So our Mount Forest and our Hairston locations are currently not offering in-person sessions, but they are offering by phone or by video conference. Um, Mount Forest, you can access that on Mondays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And in Hairston, you can access those on Tuesdays from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, and to get your intake done, uh, you're gonna call 519-824 2431 extension 12 or email intake at familyserviceguelph.on.ca. And lastly, I want to highlight that um, we have the on, or the Canadian government has created Wellness Together Canada. It is a great resource that if you have internet access or a smartphone, um, you can access this because they recognize that Canadians are being challenged in a number of ways because of the isolation, financial, and employment uncertainty. Um, disruptions due to COVID-19. So be sure to uh, visit uh, Wellness Canada, um, our Wellness Together Canada on your web browser to sign up for that as well. Um, be sure to follow along with Mental Mental Health on our website, www.mentalmentalhealth.ca to stay up to date on resources, services um, available, and also follow along on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to get some tips and resources. We share wellness tips, we share um, inspirational quotes, as well as mindfulness, which is huge. Um, if you or someone you know who is uh, struggling, please don't hesitate to reach out to um, mental health at town.minto.on.ca so we can help you navigate through to find the services that might be best for you. Um, I will turn it back over to Derek and Mayor Bridge uh, to finish the community update. Thanks, thanks, Jess. And uh, it's great to have you on board. And uh, Mental Mental Health has done a great job of getting organized, especially during this pandemic that we need, really need your, uh, your support. So make sure that anybody can just call those numbers. And if you have any problems, let us know. Uh, but we're looking out for you as best we can. Community updates. I just want to talk a bit about uh, economic development side. And normally I'd have Belinda or somebody, but today you got me. So here we are. But uh, we can't stress enough that uh, our businesses have done as best they can during these tough times. So shop locally for this holiday season, stay as local as possible if you can um, and provide, you know, our, our local businesses are doing everything they can to provide a safe and enjoyable shopping experiences. Uh, please think mental first when you're shopping for gifts or if you're, if you're not comfortable with shopping in store, many businesses have, have online options uh, and you can shop in various Minto businesses, including home-based businesses, which we have a lot of, uh, at thinkmintofirst.com. The holiday guide, the happy, uh, happy mail is coming. Check your issues for the, in the Wellington Advertiser Community News on November 26th for the fourth annual Minto Hop Holiday Guide. And watch for the happy holiday in Minto uh, downtown passports that are included in the guide shop local and win. This is very important if you can help out our local people. And guides we have available on downtown business in the coming weeks or digital copies can be downloaded at www.town.minto.on.ca. So again, uh, from the Economic Development Group, just make sure you do as much shopping as you can safely in your local town. Thank you for that. I'll turn it over to Derek for a wrap up. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. So uh, once again, um, the town of Minto uh, wishes to thank the public for their ongoing uh, support and really understanding during what is a very unique circumstance. You know, together um, we can prevent uh, COVID-19 from spreading if we keep practicing the public health measures and, and we don't let our guard down. So um, remember we're, we're in this together um, you can follow us um, on our Facebook and Instagram for, for daily updates um, and any really any community information as, as we move forward. Um, and then again, I'd just like to, to thank you and, and we look forward to speaking to you again soon. Um, and stay safe, wear your mask, shop local, and for sure, um, you're making us proud, Mental. Stay strong. And I, I just want to add one thing to the to it, uh, Derek, if I could. Sure. Um, it's up to you as individuals, as our as our people in our community, to make sure that we follow all the things we talked about today. Because if we can do that, because stay open, which is kind of important, 
not only for our businesses, but for our rinks and for our kids and everything else. So it really comes down to everybody looking in the mirror and saying to themselves, I'm gonna to try to follow these as best I can, to make sure we stay safe and keep our numbers down. And that allow us to stay in the at least orange, if not not go into the red where we after we would have to shoot, shut down a lot of our services. And I don't wanna see that. And I know Dr. Mercer doesn't wanna see that. We're working hard with public health and with our people. So if you see anything that out there that you, you need to talk to us about, let us know. But everybody has to pitch in and make sure this happens. So I just want to bring that message to you. It's up to us to make it happen. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.